just need to get these various little dialogue boxes out of the way. Um, and now turn it on to, okay, so can you see my screen? Yes, screen. looks yeah. good. Okay, so I'm Neil Cobb. I'm um, a retired research faculty from Northern Arizona University. And right now I work as director for a small nonprofit uh, biodiversity um, outreach network. And most of what I do is um, uh, during the year is um, uh, work on digitization projects um, with various collections, primarily in the United States and, and, and uh, published biodiversity, uh, geogra large geographic biodiversity um, um, data sets. But every summer um, for um, 18 years now, we've provided um, a summer um, camp program for kids, uh, six to um, 10 year olds. Uh, these, we started off with um, one camp uh, per summer and uh, it's now um, um, become three, uh, three full day, full week camps where we have 24 kids per camp. Um, we cannot, um, uh, offer any more, um, than three camps per summer because we just don't have the facilities. But even without advertising, um, our camps now, um, fill up within a month. We open them up in January and, um, uh, we get 72 registrations within a month. We could probably easily, um, go for, um, five camps and we uh, and even though we don't advertise um, we get a number of people from you know throughout the United States that uh, come to Flagstaff to um, attend the camps and you know I, I think one of the reasons why they're so um, um, successful is they really are experiential entomology so we basically take all of our equipment and kind of things that we do on a regular basis as entomologists, and we provide those um, um, to kids. Um, what I wanted to go over today uh, was to talk about um, training uh, middle school um, counselors to work um, in the camps um, and our sort of continued formalization of content um, um, for campers. So when we started this off, it was at the behest of a couple of parents that would visit the um, collection at NEU and say, hey, can't you provide something for my kid um, in the summer? Uh, they're crazy about uh, bugs. And so we would just do stuff that was what we thought was really, really fun. Um, and I'm now still in the process 18 years later to um, um, really think about the concepts that we're um, teaching the kids. And so what concepts um, uh, um, uh, can they understand? Um, and what's the best way to get those um, um, concepts um, through to the campers? So this year, we're also going to be producing a full documentary, which um, I'm hope well. Now I'm. I already know that it's making us more rigorous in terms of thinking about um, what we're teaching and what we want um, the campers um, to get out of it. So key features of the camp: uh, they spend lots of time collecting in nature, and they learn a lot about nature, natural history. Um, they make a reference collection of insects, and so they learn about um, taxonomy, which they love. Uh, they maintain a live group of hissing cockroaches, so they take home and share it with their families and, and uh, um, learn about um, uh, behavior. Uh, we provide uh, arthropod shows with live insects, um, um, which really allows them to um, connect with um, arthropods. And then we do interactive lectures and games covering anatomy, morphology, life history, ecology. Uh, we have three different activities where we explicitly try to engage the family along with the campers. Uh, um, so having taking um, cockroaches home to uh, 
uh, rear them is one. Another one is uh, night lighting, where the family comes and collects um, um, insects together. And then on the last day, we have a, a bug feast, which um, uh, we provide various dishes um, uh, made of insects and arachnids. Um, so when we started off, the program was primarily run by my graduate students. Um, um, uh, and they would, we would um, uh, solicit participation by undergraduate um, summer interns. Um, we've now transitioned to a model where it's the counselors are middle school teachers and the counselors are uh, middle school um, students. So with graduate students, um, they obviously, uh, if they were my graduate students, they obviously had a strong background in entomology, but you know, minimal experience with six to ten year olds. Um, but they, but they did great. Um, now, and I, I really find this exciting. We have uh, middle school teachers that have really embraced entomology. They sort of learn entomology sort of on the job uh, a few weeks before the camp and during the camp, um, but they have really, really strong teaching um, um, experience. When we had undergraduate summer interns, um, the bonding with the campers were uh, kind of a little variable. Um, and as opposed to 13 and 14 year old middle schools, um, it's been really successful in terms of the bonding. They, even if the middle schoolers are not that interested in entomology, um, uh, they love being mentors to um, six to um, 10 year olds. <laughs> um, so the undergraduate sum summer students also had a biology background. Um, maybe not a strong entomology background. Um, and the middle schoolers um, basically also have to learn a lot of the material um, on the job. Um, actually, most of them now are not necessarily that interested in entomology. They may be more interested uh, in being mentors. And we do provide them with a $200 honorarium. So several of them are, um, Excited just to have a you know be a thirteen year old and and have a job, so um, uh, right now we're at the point where we're um, kind of still transitioning to this middle school model in in running our camps um, and then engaging campers and then uh, figuring out continuing to figure out ways to. Um, uh, engage um, camper families. And I, but I've just got to say that um, targeting this age group of six to 10 is absolutely critical. We worked with a, uh, um, uh, a university, I think from Alabama, and they tried to run a summer bug camp and they said, well, we can't get any campers. They, well, um, um, can I just see your advertisement? And they were advertising to like 10 to 16 year olds. So um, what we found is that age group from six to 10, they are so innately attracted to insects. There's only one group of organisms that compete with insects and spiders. Those are dinosaurs. And so um, all of our campers are just fanatic. And But you do see a sort of a decrease in interest um, uh, uh, from the six, seven, and eight-year-olds down to the nine and 10-year-olds. And then when they get to be 11 or 12, um, uh, there's a lot fewer um, students that um, 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 are, are interested. But it's this six to 10-year-old range that I, you know, I hate to sound cavalier, but you could do almost anything. If you just give them an insect net and put them in nature, they are just going to have um, a great time. Um, we, uh, uh, in addition to the 13, 14 year old middle schoolers that we have as what we call junior counselors, um, we also have 
uh, camp uh, uh, trainees that used to be campers that want to learn to be junior counselors. So we're trying to develop um, um, uh, um, a flow of um, counselors going from campers to um, junior counselor um, trainees to um, junior counselors. Um, so um, this just shows some material that we would like to um, um, teach the junior counselors, um, but taking sort of raw academic um, information uh, and providing it directly to the junior counselors is too much. So what we're doing this year more explicitly is trying to convert sort of university level content um, uh, to the level of the counselors and then have the counselors then be able to um, uh, teach the six to 10 year olds. Um, so some of the things that uh, we do is uh, um, uh, one of the middle school teachers created a junior counselor bug book, which is um, has sort of like the basics of what we want them to know. Um, and it covers major groups of arthropods. It covers major group uh, insect orders. So they learn um, taxonomy. Um, we emphasize why we think insects are so diverse. And so we go over wings. Um, in this particular example, we go over um, uh, insect life cycles and, and how that makes them so um, adaptable um, and probably so um, species diverse. Uh, we go over basics of how do insect bodies work. And um, it surprisingly has been relatively um, um, easy to teach these six to 10 year olds at a level that they can understand some of the basics of just uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, insect um, um, systems. Um, and then we also focus on important groups of insects, um, for example, uh, pollinators um, and um, everything about them from biodiversity um, um, to ecology. Um, and then a lot of this stuff, we try to integrate activities that cover multiple topics. So they love to play Jeopardy. Um, in this particular board, we go over topics like pollinators, all about bugs, collecting uh, bug anatomy and um, insect orders. Um, this year, we're, we're preparing videos for the junior counselors that we can also use for hybrid camps and virtual courses. This actually came out of the year that we had to do this during um, COVID, but we're providing um, what you can't really read here is a, a, a list of all of the activities that we could possibly do in a camp. Um, and then they're clickable videos and they go over um, everything from what's in a student's kit um, to um, 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 various collecting techniques. Um, we also assign junior counselors to give lectures or lead activities um, for, you know, we try to get them to sign up for two or three different um, um, activities. And so we don't expect them to know everything at all about um, entomology. But if, for example, they sign up for pollinators, we have them um, uh, sort of become the junior counselor experts on uh, pollinator, um, uh, pollinator uh, uh, ecology. And this particular picture, um, Sadie is talking about molting in insects and the importance of molting. Um, this year, we, yeah, we, act, we had enough money. And so all of the money that we get from this comes from uh, um, camper registrations. We've, um, we've tried to um, inject um, iNaturalist um, into the summer uh, bug camps, and we just have not been that successful. And so this year, we had enough money to provide an honorarium to um, um, Caius to be the um, coordinator. So he's going to kind of keep track of um, the kids or the families, um, iNaturalist accounts, and integrate those um, into the camp. Um, we're, uh, we, we have lesson plans um, already made up, and we basically modify those for 
um, the camps. And we don't, uh, we probably have about 40 lesson plans. And in a camp, we shoot for maybe 15 different um, activities at the most. Um, so once again, you know, the, um, I think what makes the camp so successful is we really try to make it experiential. Um, um, so when we talk about um, molting and complete metamorphosis, we do things like um, have a, um, a camper feel what it's like to be a pupa. Um, we have lots of live insects that are there for them to just go play with whenever they want to. Um, we do provide a journal and we do um, 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 ask them to fill out the journal for uh, a, some of the activities, not everything. Um, some of them are not wild about having to record their observations, but um, uh, but everybody participates in it. Um, uh, so the last couple of pictures are from last year and, and they just emphasize that um, uh, we really try to expose them to everything that a real entomologist would do from, uh, in terms of collecting insects, um, from hand nets to putting in pit balls to pollinator cups, um, um, to night, light, night lighting, to using malaise traps, and then specialized collecting things like um, uh, bug backs. Uh, we actually make up real uh, um, uh, labels for them to uh, um, put on each of their insects. And then uh, um, they are, they've are they been extremely responsive to making their own collection. They love doing it. They love sorting out the bugs. They love using the, the microscope, microscopes and um, try to... Um, uh, key things out. Uh, and then on the last day, um, this is uh, where we have the uh, Friday bug feast. It's great because um, we're guaranteed to get parents and siblings. And it not only gives us an opportunity to just talk about insects as a food source and a little bit more about insect uh, basic biology, like um, uh, you know, uh, the amount of proteins and in insects and blah, blah, blah. But it's a great way to just um, get to meet the families and um, talk about what worked in the camp and what didn't work in the camp. Um, and I think, yeah, and like I said, so last year we um, did a, a two minute uh, video um, uh, uh, that kind of covered the, the bug camp. And this year we're really excited because we're working with a middle school teacher. He's the one that did the two minute video last year to do um, a full documentary um, on, on the camp this year um, that <clears throat> um, he is going to get um, his middle school um, students to um, help produce the full documentary. And I think that covers everything.